We're now watching Macho Man Randy Savage's the former Intercontinental Ready. Champion of the World, Macho Man Randy nothing Savage. Means nothing. Mean Gene nothing, nothing means nothing. Nothing means nothing. Oakland. Nothing means nothing. What do you mean by that? Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why does I'm the talking man's about hair look like that. The top. Okay. Oh yeah. I'm justifiably in a position that I'd rather That's not be so in. But the buff. cream will he's rise to the top. Oh yeah. Macho Man. Yes, he's, he's got he's more got over camera. than President Jackson. Thanks. God, yeah, girl. Like Let me tell you something right now. Cards stacked against the Macho shirt, Man, Randy Savage, and WrestleMania three. Now let me tell you something, no, girl. I have to tell you that this man is literally. He sounds like he's pretending to be Beetlejuice. This was before Beetlejuice happened. Seriously? This man is- Cause he sounds like he's doing a Beetlejuice impression where he's dead as like, mm, um, say Beetlejuice three times. Hey baby, that, how you doing? Scratch that, reverse it. Like, uh, if anything, Michael Keaton was doing a Randy Savage impression because this was before. That's and funny yes, as fuck. The spiders, right? Uh, they were all on steroids. This currently, he's definitely on a mountain of cocaine. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, he's wearing like these giant sunglasses. Well, those are those are one of his trademarks. Oh. They still sell those to this day. He looks like he's like about to go skiing. <laughs> like those they are giant still sell skiing those to this goggles. Day. That's funny. Okay, okay. I had to say that he sounds exactly like Beetlejuice, which I guess is the latter. Let me say it out loud, and let me point to the president of the, of the World Wrestling Federation that Macho Man Randy <laughs> Savage is not happy with your decisions. Yeah. I'm the cream of He's the World Wrestling pulling. Federation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is no nowhere. doubt about it. Yeah. Hey, you mean hey, Gene Oakland. You know what? I'm the They're cream of the crop. Oh, wait, wait a minute, though, Randy. I gotta ask you very seriously. Do you blame Mr. Jack Tunney, the distinguished president of the World Wrestling Federation, for Ricky Steamboat being the Intercontinental Champion today? Hold on, yeah. Can we give credit to this lovely dude interviewing him? That's His voice is like Mean on Gene point. Okerlund. His voice is great. He's very like. Mean oh. Gene Okerlund, one of the most famous wrestling uh, interviewers of all time. He died a few years ago. Oh, uh, they did a. They had a beautiful, actually. Uh, uh, thing for him on Monday Night Raw, where Hulk Hogan came out and gave a whole a whole speech. Hulk Hogan is a piece of shit racist, by the way. But uh, but Oof. he came out and he was one of one of his best friends. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. He did us just said that shit. Um, but uh, he's a great guy. Love him to death. I met him once. I met him at WrestleMania 30. He was a very sweet man. He took a, couple, a bunch of pictures with us and he talked to us for like Aww. 20 minutes. He's a very great guy. I don't have any of those pictures anymore. Unfortunately, they were on a friend's phone and he broke it while we were on while we were in New Orleans. Um, Shit happens. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but I did meet Mean Gene. He was a lovely man. Let's watch the uh, let's watch the rest. Thank you. I just can't take him seriously. He's wearing lilac. Lilac isn't threatening. It's just not. Well, that's the point. It's he's, fucking hilarious. He's such a good wrestler, and also he is probably in the, the, the conversation the for top, his hair look like that? top two wrestlers of all time. He doesn't have to threaten you with his colors. He's just that good. He just has to aggressively mumble at you, because that's what yes. he's doing. He's just aggressively mumbling. Yeah, and I don't, yeah. Oh, sign interference, yeah. I'll come back in to my that. moment of glory. Bit. Yeah, and I'm living in a nightmare. And yeah, I am the cream, the and yeah. <laughs> And I know the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship belt must fall, but the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Please take it. Hulk Hogan, cream. yeah. Please I just, am, yep. yeah. Uh -huh. The cream, Where yeah. The, fuck is the cream these? of the crop. And there is no one that does it better than the Macho Man just, Randy Savage. On, on balance, off balance, it doesn't meter. It I'm better than meter. you are, it yeah. Meter. And I'm talking to everyone in the World Wrestling Federation. And I'm even talking. This shirt's the shirt's gonna pop. Jack Tunney, it's yeah. so tight on him. I'm on. I'm on my way, yeah. Mm. Nothing no. is gonna stop me. Yeah. Nothing's gonna stop me. Fuck. You know, just out of curiosity, Randy, and I certainly don't want to diminish your tremendous uh, God-given talents, him. but I'm I'm very curious. I haven't seen Elizabeth lately. Yeah, nice she's dash. on the outside of the ring. Nice Does she interfere in some matches? Yeah. Nothing but zero. Yeah. Pure athletic, yeah. And I've been, no, uh, yeah. I'm a lad from the top. To the bottom. Who would you call top two? Because they macho can't man. handle the Macho Man, Randy Savage. Is that him? The cream That's of the crop. Man. Nobody does it better. Michael's Bret Hart, 
Macho Man. Those are the only three in top two contention for me. He dead ass just want. fucking. Uh, oh his ending was like Macho Man, Randy Savage, and he pulls one out and like fucking flicks well, it at a I mean, camera. He's on a lot of cocaine. What a fucking and wasn't guy. able to stick to his script. What a fucking guy, dude. What a legend. What a ledge. Absolute ledge. I'm also. I'm not gonna do it on the stream, but I'll also show her the greatest Ultimate Warrior promo of all time. The uh, kick down the cockpit door promo, which is the most cocaine I've ever seen in my life. Ah, he just introduced me to David Bowie this week. I've never, I've never heard any David Bowie songs. I saw The Labyrinth for the first time since I was like seven. We watched Labyrinth ten. a couple days ago. It was a completely different experience. Like in my opinion, when I watched it when I was a little kid, I like projected all my like bad traumas onto it. Like when I watched it as an adult, I was like, oh, she was a brat. And then like a, a, a completely different experience watching it as an adult versus when I was a kid. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Classic rock. <laughs>